Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. Today we're going to learn how to make Big Newtons. So come along and let's get started. So what I have here is I have my dough. I have refrigerated this for 24 hours. I've let it set out for 30 minutes so that it can soften a little so we can roll it out. Now this is made from, you just take a cup and a half of softened unsalted butter, very important, one egg and one egg yolk, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and a quarter teaspoon of imitation butter flavoring, or you can just use half a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of white sugar, and a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. You're going to blend that up in your mixer until it's all smoothed out. And then you're going to add in two and a half cups of flour to maybe three cups. The consistency you're trying to get is the consistency between pancake mix and regular dough. Um, it's softer, almost like Play-Doh. I also have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of baking soda in here. You're going to chill it and then you're going to roll it out. Now when you go to roll it out, you're going to need some flour. Um, it is a sticky dough, so you want to do it on parchment. And we're just going to put a little there. And we're going to put a little on our rolling pin so it doesn't stick. And we're trying to roll this like 9 by 13. Whoops. See, I don't have enough. You see how soft it is? One of the things, if you set it out for too long, it'll get too soft and you'll have to put it in the, back in the refrigerator. And I'm going to stand up for this. Back in the refrigerator and let it harden up again. A clean edge. Clean edge on all four sides. And then I'm going to divide that in three. Now while I roll out the other one, we're going to put this back in the fridge. See how soft that is? This has been out for a while. See how soft? I mean, it's really soft. It's like, like Play-Doh. No, it's softer than Play-Doh, like Silly Putty. So yesterday I made this dough, and I also made the fig mixture. So let me get this on the tray and back in the fridge, and we'll talk about the fig mixture. See it right there? I took two jars of my fig preserves and I blended them in the blender until they were smooth. Then all I simply did was put it in my little tiny crock here. You can do this on the stove if you want, but it's better in the crock if you have one because this syrup gets really hot and on the stove you have to bring it to a rolling boil in order to condense it down. And what you're trying to do, let me get a spoon, you're trying to get the consistency of gooey, see that? See how gooey it is? That when it's cold, it can be put inside a fig. I cooked this down in the crock pot. I think it was about three hours. If you take your filling that you cooked in the crock pot and put it in a Ziploc bag, and you want to cut the tip not really huge. You want to start at one end and just put some on. Don't put too much because it is going to spread. Okay? Take your parchment, fold it over, kind of roll it. Get that unstuck and then roll it again. These would be a nice special thing to do for Christmas or their birthday or just to say I love you. But and there we go. 
So they bake in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes, and I'll show you when they come out of the oven. And there you go, your Fig Newton bars. Now, do not, you can cut them now, carefully if you want. I would let them cool a little bit, and then uh, wait until they're completely cool before you try to move them. Because that fig is really hot in there. And uh, it just rips them apart. Okay, so let's let these cool and then we'll show you what the final product looks like. If you choose not to go through all that trouble, you're more than welcome to make Fig Newton thumbprints. They turn out just as good. The only thing you have to remember when you stack them, the fig will land up on the bottom of the cookie below it. Or from the cookie below it. But they taste just as good. So there you go. Beautiful plate of Fig Newtons. Yummy and delicious. And that's what they look like inside, just like a Fig Newton. Remember, let them cool completely. They are delicious. Blessings.